Technology continues to improve, giving people the latest, most local weather information. Now the town of Wilbraham is using that to their advantage. They're one of many locations in Western Mass to install new weather bug stations, providing critical live data to help crews monitor winter storms. CBS3 Springfield is the exclusive Western Mass TV partner with Weatherbug, the largest commercial weather network in the world. It provides live temperature, wind, precipitation, and other weather variables to schools, businesses, and town offices. Commonly used as an educational tool, this hyper-local weather information is now gaining more practical implications throughout the community. We pay more for a ton of salt these days than we do for a ton of asphalt. And that, that salt goes on the road. We want to make sure it's going to get the most effect at the, at, the, at the critical time. The topography and geography of Western Mass makes it full of little quirks and anomalies in the weather patterns, also known as microclimates. The three main weather stations in the Pioneer Valley are located in Chicopee, Westfield, and Windsor Locks. Just because they are the official temperatures doesn't mean it's the same temperature in Wilbraham, and it can vary by several. Several degrees. Having accurate uh, temperature that's right here for the road conditions and, and not rely on guessing where that temperature may or may not be. It's reported out at over at Westover or what have you. Having that right here, right now makes a big difference uh, in terms of application and getting the most effectiveness out of our ice treatment. Wilbraham and other towns expect these real-time temperatures to give them a head start on snow operations for storms this winter. Rainfall and wind direction may also prove valuable for flooding and fire situations throughout the rest of the year. It's important for our responders to have immediate uh, access to information and weather is always a factor. These new stations are part of a much larger picture. Weatherbug is teaming up with National Grid and MIT using this data to get a better understanding of where power outages may occur with future storms. Effectively what we're trying to do is figure out when the next storm comes, what will happen to our National Grid equipment, what wires will be impacted, what poles might come down. And so the weather bug data from the 24 sites in Western Mass is going to be really helpful in that regard. As technology advances, so does the power and resolution of weather models. Most of us typically look at the weather variables for face value, what the temperature feels like, or simply how windy it is. National Grid is feeding the weather bug data to a newly developed forecast model designed by researchers at MIT. It's not necessarily forecasting what the temperature will be or who gets the most snow. Instead, it's focusing on where the power outages will be. We take our best guess as to what's going to happen, say, in the town of Ware or in the town of Wilbraham, what has happened in these past storms. The, the data coming from the weather bug application will then uh, load that into the model and we'll be able to know again now for the next storm. Well, we had this string of, of poles go down on Main Street or, or this bunch, this uh, substation was impacted because of this type of storm. So we match the type of weather with the type of damage we see. That just helps us allocate resources. Where do we roll trucks? Do we need 10 crews or 20 crews? It's right, very, very discreet uh, pieces of information that's going to help us. The weather bug instrumentation being installed throughout Western Mass also provides an opportunity for national grid to give back to the community. Whether it's the first responders uh, having a weather bug on their building or it's just the local high school science club who might come to that facility and learn about weather, learn about meteorology, learn about climate.